Hi Sarah, it is Thursday, October 3rd. And first, I wanted to continue our Pandora discussion since I'm using Pandora at work all day, every day. I have one earbud in <laughs> so I can listen to music while I'm putting in stuff into the computer and then the other one I have out so I can hear the phone if it rings. So, um, what well, I've been listening to, my favorites, I listened to my Jason Mraz station for like an entire day, straight up the whole day. Because it was fabulous. If you like Jason Mraz, which is sort of acoustic-y, fun guitar music with like a beat, with like a beat and like good tunes and like cute words, sometimes he gets a little graphic sexually, but I like him a lot. I think he's fabulous and it's a lot of fun to listen to. And then um, the other is my Da Vinci's Notebook channel. <laughs> um, it's Da Vinci with the space in between the duh and the Vinci. Da Vinci's Notebook. They're an acapella group. Well, a, co a comedy acapella group. Um, and oddly enough, you get like a lot of you get a lot of Irish pub music. <laughs> um, and you get a lot of other sort of comedy groups. You get a lot of Weird Al. So I'm sort of discovering, and Stephen Lynch. Um, I'm discovering a lot of comedy groups that I hadn't heard before. And oddly enough, the ones that I don't like are the Da Vinci's Notebook ones. <laughs> Just because I like one or two of their songs, but they tend to be really dirty and I'm not interested. But um, other stuff is really funny. Some of the Stephen Lynch, like I was laughing out loud at my desk in my little tiny cube and I was like... Psh. <laughs> um, so that's good. And the other one, there's one more. Today, I started a Thomas Newman channel. <gasps> it's beautiful. Thomas Newman, if you don't know, which you probably do, um, composer for like Meet Joe Black, Cider House Rules. Um, I think he did Angels in America, um, the soundtrack, among other things. But you get really good stuff. You get a lot of his movie um, soundtracks. You get um, a little bit of John Williams. I had some hook. But yeah, you get that sort of uh, piano-y, violin, sort of just really beautiful movie soundtrack stuff. So I love my Thomas Newman station. That might be my new fave. Um, so that's where I am with that. Pandora. What else? So I've been thinking a lot about grown-up stuff this week. Um, I took my comforter to the dry cleaner. I think I told you for first time ever going to the dry cleaner by myself as an adult. <laughs> Not that, like, I was making people go with me. I just haven't taken anything. Um, getting, gonna take my boots to the, the cobbler to get them stretched and winterized. Like a grown-up, um, person with responsibleness. Um, Desolation of Smog is coming out this December. They just released the trailer. Second Hobbit movie! And I'm really excited, and I was like, midnight showing. Yes! There! Except, grown-up job, I have to get up at 6.30 the next morning, and now I'm going, ugh, I don't know. Am I, like, physically able to do that anymore? I don't, I don't know. Um, so, grown-up things. Also, my curtains just fell down. I'm gonna put those back. Don't lean against your curtains. Grown-up thing number, number four, three. It's another grown-up thing. More news? I am going to New York this December with Mom. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm not trying purposely to give you a view of the metalworks outside my apartment, but there they are. Yay. That's my view view. That's my reality view. <laughs> um, Mom and I are going to go to New York this December. I'm not doing opera auditions this year, but we're going to go. And we've got tickets for... Um, the new Cinderella, the new Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella, and I bought the tickets for Big Fish, Big Fish, Norma Leo Butts, yes! I bought the tickets for Big Fish with my money because I had the money to do it, and it was such a cool thing to be able to do, to be like, Mom, I got this, yo. It's mine. I take it. Slap me the check. So I'm really excited about that. Um, it's going to be great. We're still trying to pick another show for Friday night. I wanted to see Stephen Fry in Twelfth Night. Mom said, Shakespeare will make me vomit. And I said, fine. So, yeah. 
Lots of things to be excited about. Job, adultness, New York City! Um, and I love you. I'll see you next week.